Hi everyone, Danelle Dixon, Performance Plus Physical Therapy, and today we're gonna to be talking about hamstring strains. This is the first of three series, so make sure to check back for the other two. Today we're gonna to be talking about what is a hamstring strain, what does it look like, and who does it affect? So let's dive right in. So first of all, what is a hamstring? The hamstring is a very big muscle that sits on the back of your thigh, starts with your ischial tuberosity, which basically is your sit bone, the bottom bone at the base of your pelvis, and then extends all the way through the bottom of your thigh and inserts right past your knee. So by definition, this is a two joint muscle. It crosses the hip, and it also crosses the knee, which means that it has two different functions. It works as a hip extensor on the top part, and at the bottom it works as a knee flexor primarily, okay? And this also comes really into play when you're looking at the biomechanics of this muscle and actually how it works and also how it gets injured. So that's the hamstring. Now a hamstring strain, when we talk about an injury to a muscle, we're talking about a strain. If we talk about an injury to a ligament, it's usually a sprain. So with a hamstring strain, there's some sort of injury to that muscle. There's some sort of tear, there's some sort of rupture that's going on. It's usually graded on three levels, grade one, two, and three. Three being the most severe, which means it's a complete rupture. And one being the mildest, which means you just kind of tweaked it, something that you can probably work off in a couple of days to a couple of weeks, depending, of course, on all of your other symptoms. So how do you recognize a hamstring strain? A hamstring strain is recognized by point tenderness, meaning it's very tender to the touch on that muscle and it could be all the way up, right onto your sit bone or all the way through the belly of that muscle all the way to the back of your knee. Some people usually have swelling that can happen or what we call ecchymosis in the medical world where you can see like your skin is very red and bruised. You can have a lot of pain when you're sitting when you're walking, when you're going up and down stairs, or any position where that muscle is put on any sort of force or any sort of stretch. So if you've been going through something and suddenly feel pain in the back of your thigh, you may have a hamstring strain. You wouldn't wanna check with your medical professional or with your physical therapist to figure that out. Now, who does it affect? It affects a lot of people. This happens a lot in the, primarily in the athletic population. It can range from anywhere from eight to 25%, depending on the sport, depending on the type of season that they're in. It can get all the way up to 60 to 70% of the type of injuries that we see in this area. Also, athletes over 25 years old usually have a higher disposition of getting it. So unfortunately, the older that you are, the more prone you are to getting hamstring strains if you are in the athletic field. Um, one thing that is really interesting to note about this type of injury is that hamstring strains usually get affected when you are decelerating your force when you're doing a quick motion. So it's really about deceleration and about the speed of the motion that usually triggers a hamstring strain. So if you're running, if you're jumping, if you're cutting very quickly, that hamstring has to work very hard to eccentrically, or what we call lengthening of a contraction, slow your body down against gravity as you are extending in your hip or bringing your leg behind your body. And because of this motion, that's you, because of that vulnerability at that point, that's usually why hamstrings usually get injured. So you would find, again, this really kind of happens more in the athletic population that are doing those types of motions. They are sprinting, they are making very quick direction turns, they are changing directions. So you would find that this really happens in the athletic population. So if you are a relatively young athlete or even older athlete, you're doing a lot of cutting and running and jumping, or you find that you're having pain in the back of your thigh when you've been doing these activities, there may be a chance that you have a hamstring strain. You need to talk to your physical therapist or give me a call so we can find out exactly what you do have because again, the correct diagnosis is very much the key to the correct intervention. So that's part one. I hope you enjoyed this and we will talk more about other things about the hamstring strain. Stay tuned. Bye.